welcome back to Exchange Channel. This is Tejaswini. Today we are going to discuss about ratio and proportion and uh, it's of 7 class ICC syllabus. Then we are going to solve few problems from exercise A in this chapter. So I have already solved, uh, I have already explained about ratio and proportion in my previous video. So in this video I am just solving uh, the exercise questions, only few of the exercise questions. So, uh, so I am solving the first question. So this first question in that I am solving fourth sub question. So this is 40 kgs and 1 quintal. So they are asking to they are asking us to simplify this ratio now. So to simplify ratio, first we should write this uh, this ratios in the fractional form and then cancel it. But we cannot do it because see here here the unit is kgs and here the unit is quintal. So first we need to convert both the units into one unit itself. So here, uh, to write it in the fractional form, first we need both the units same. So here it's kgs and here it's quintal. So we cannot convert kgs into quintal, right? So we should convert quintals into kg. So first know the value of one quintal. That is, one quintal is equal to 100 kgs. Alright. So first for everything we should know the values. That is, one quintal is equal to 100 kgs. Now, uh, so here as they have given 1 quintal, so 1 into 100 is equal to 100, right? So that will become 100 kgs. So now that will become 40 kgs is to 100 kgs. So now as both the units are same after conversion, now we can solve it. Now we can easily cancel it, that is 40 divided by Hundred and make sure that you always write antecedent that is the first term in the numerator and the consequent the second term in the denominator. Now you can cancel it. Zero and zero will be cancelled. Two twos are four and two fives are ten. So your ratio will be two is to five. So this is your answer. So this is the simplest form of this ratio. So this is how to simplify the ratios. Before I have solved the Fourth sub question. Now I am solving the seventh sub question. That is three hours is to one day. So even it is same like the previous one. So the units are different. Here it's hours and here it's day. So we cannot convert hours into day, right? So we should convert day into hours. That is one day is equal to twenty four hours, as we all know it already. So one day is equal to twenty four hours. Then here you will get it like 3 hours is to 24 hours. Right. So now here both the units are hours itself. So you can divide it. That is 3 ones are and 3 eights are 24. So your ratio will be 1 is to 8. So this is the simplest form of 3 hours 1 day. So the simplest form of ratio is 1 is to 8. So this is our second question. The question is, length of string is 64 centimeters and they are asking us to divide the 64 centimeters string into two parts. That is 5 is to 3. Into this ratio, they are asking us to divide the 64 centimeters into this ratio. So first, before dividing, you need to know here the sum of, you need to calculate the sum of ratio. So, the sum of ratio is equal to that is 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So first you need to divide, sorry, you need to add these two ratios so that you will get your answer as 8. Now with help of this sum of ratio, we can easily calculate. That is, so as they have asked to divide the 64 centimeter string into two parts, so our first part will be So our first part is equal to 5 by 8 into 64. So this is how you need to form a fraction. That is 5 by 8 into 64. So as they are asking the first part, here in this ratio, the first part in, in this ratio, the first part is nothing but the 5. So you should write 5 in the numerator's place. And the sum of the ratios in the denominator and multiply it with the given value. So, 8 ones are, and 8 is 64. So, 
5 into 8 is 40. So, the first part is 40 centimeters. Now, let's find, now as they asked us to find two parts, our first part is completed, we have got that. Now, find the second part. That is, as our second term is 3 here, write 3 in the numerator and the sum of ratios in the denominator that is 8 and multiply it with 64. So 8 ones are 8, 8 is 64. So 3 into 8 is 24 centimeters. So this is your second part. So these are the two parts that they ask us to find. Now whether to calculate whether you have got the correct answer or no, add these two. That is 40 plus 24 is 64, right? That means you have got the given value. It means you have got the correct answers. So to recheck whether you have got correct answers, you can add these two. So this is all about this question. So this is our fourth question. They have given the question as the, the angles of triangle is 3 is 2 is to 7 and they are asking us to find each angle. So they have given the ratio of angles or uh, ratio of a triangle of each angles they are asking us to find the numbers. So before they have only given us the ratios in this question. So uh, we cannot find the angles only with the help of ratios. We should take another value that is the, the sum of angles of triangle that is 180 degrees. So the sum of angles of triangle is 180 degrees. So here they have given us the ratio. So with the, with the ratio we, we should also take this value that is the sum of angles of triangle that is 180 degrees. So with the help of these two values we can find out the angles, the, the angles in the form of numbers. So first before that as we have done in the previous one we should do the sum of angles here also. Sum of angles that means the sum of given angles the ratio. The sum of ratio is okay let me write ratio here. The sum of ratio is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 7 that is 12. Right. So here sum of ratio is 3 plus 2 plus 7 that is 12. So now we can find it as we have ratios, the sum of angles of triangle and the sum of ratio. So now as they asked us to find each angle, so the first angle will be, so this is as same like as we done in the previous video, as we, done, as we solved the previous solution, that is the first angle will be 3, that means 3 by 12 into 180. So that is 3 by 12 into 180. So our first angle is 3 by 12 into 180. As the first term is 3 and the sum of ratio is 12, that should be written in the denominator and multiply this fraction with 180. So 12 ones are 12, 15 are. So 3 into 15 will be 45 degrees. So our first angle will be 45 degrees. So this is how to find the first angle. Now let's find the second angle. So even this is same. So uh, so in the first to find the first angle we have taken the first term. Now to find the second angle take the second term that is 2. So 2 by 12 into 180. So 12 ones are 12. 15 is up. That is 30 degree. 2 into 15 is 30 degree. So this is our second angle. So we got both first and second angle. Now let's find third angle. That is as our third term is 7 here. 7 by 12 into 180. 12 ones are 12, 15 is up. So, 15 into 7 is 105 degrees. So, this is our third angle. So, this is our 
third angle. So we have got both the three angles that is 45, 45 degrees, 30 degrees and 105 degrees. So this is how to find each at each angle as the given here three angles. So this is all about this solution. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have solved few questions from exercise A. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And also please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you.